Okay, what I'm going to do is just to show you how to take a DVD and convert it for use on your iPod or your um, iPad or even your Arcos uh, tablet PC, your Android tablet PC. Um, to do this I'm going to use a bit of software called Freemake Video Converter. That's this program here. So freemake.com um, and download Freemake Video Converter and then you'll be able to do what I'm going to do here. So you've downloaded the uh, video converter from freemake.com um, and now what we've got to do, or what I've already done, is I've taken one of these, one of my DVDs, and slotted it into the side of the PC. Um, now what we have to do is just to go up to the top left of this menu here, click, uh, sorry, here, click add, di add sign there, DVD, it's all very intuitive if you read what's on the screen as I've just done. So there's uh, my DVD drive just popped up. Click OK and it'll open that file. It will take a second or two to read the DVD. There's a lot of information on a DVD. Um, once it's open I'll show you the next step. OK, the program's now open um, and it's found the DVD sections. That's here. These are all DVD movies but the one that you're interested in is this one here because it's the biggest so 1 hour 50 and 11 seconds occasionally what it will do it will find two versions of this on your DVD never quite sure why and one of them may be slightly different in the timing but just select one of them and you're not going to select the wrong thing so this is by default is, is found title 1 and all I'm going to do is click OK and what that will do is open my software here is showing that that version of the film that I'm now about to convert. Right, so this is not too technical. I'm really just going to show you a very simple way of doing it. So if you're going to an Apple product, click Apple. And if you then drop down the boxes, you've got all the different various options here that you can choose. Very, very simple. But I'm going to convert this to an Arcos. And the particular Arcos I'm going to convert it to is an Arcos A70. Um, and the maximum resolution of that is uh, 720p. So you've got all these options that you drop down from this box here. And then select HD 720p. Um, if you select anything higher, it won't play correctly or may not even play at all. Uh, this is the default path that the video is going to be saved in and the file name. Um, I'm going to leave that exactly as it is and just click convert and what it will then do it will come up with a percentage bar here and a percentage bar here now you have to bear in mind that the process does take some time to go through depending on how long the movie is will depend on how much data is on that DVD um, and that can take an hour or more to do that depending on the length of the movie. Now, if well, one bit of advice I'd give you is if you've got a few of these to do over a period of time, um, I would click this little button here which says shut down my PC after the process is complete. Just do it at night and leave it and when you come back in the morning it'll all be done. Um, or go out shopping, go have a meal, come back and it'll all be done. So once the DVD is converted, you will then get this box pop up just here. Um, conversion was complete, click OK. Um, that took around about 57 minutes to do that particular one. Um, now if I click up here, show in folder, that opens up that window and then I can shut down all the software. Don't worry that that other window disappeared because it's still there. Now that's the default name for it. If I want to change that, then I can simply uh, change that by editing uh, the file name. So the file stays there, it's now just got a different name. Okay, okay, all that now needs to happen is I take my USB cable, I take the big end, that's this end, plug it into the PC and the little end and plug it into my Arcos. Right, okay, I've now plugged the cable into this end just here, just on the left, and you can see it's come up with this screen. Uh, you may not know what that's, that means, it doesn't matter, just press mount. Okay, and that then connects the tablet to the PC. Okay, now it's connected, I just click 
this window this window pops up automatically in autoplay there's my Arcos click open file folder view and that opens here uh, none of this or some of this may not mean anything to you but what you're looking for is video so click video and there's some of the other things that we've got in there as well so now just window 7 drag one to one side drag the other to the other side and then you can see what you're doing take hold of this file by left hand clicking the mouse and highlighting so it's in blue and there you can see I can move it drag it over into the video file and you say you can see it says here copy to video and drop that and away it goes and once that's finished then we can open it up on the Arcos unit so we just unplug the USB cable okay that's now copied across we can see the file down the bottom there so we're now going to unplug the USB and that window will then disappear close down this window because we're done with that okay so here's our tablet uh, this could be an iPod an iPad or uh, any other device once you've done the conversion um, the screen would be different obviously uh, click recently added and there's our file so that's now opening up that movie which should be there in just a second and here we go so as you can see there's the video playing and it's now on your Arcos uh, just one last point and that is if for any reason it doesn't uh, the program doesn't copy across um, as you expect uh, you may need to just download a little plugin called DVD 43 um, so go to DVD 43.com um, and just click and download the Windows 7 32-bit version assuming you're running 32 bits um, there is I believe a 64-bit version as well so that should get you running